looks that uh, men are intimidated to approach you? They've been like that all my life. And it's because um, I'm a tall girl. Like, I'm 5'10". Uh, I've always been uh, comfortable with myself. I've always been, you know, kind of... I'm not loud, but I've always been, like, sassy. You know what I'm saying? So, guys have always been like, uh, hold up. Like, what I'm going to say? You know? So... Big old freak, like, mm-hmm. it's just, it's not just about being sexy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's about being confident and me being confident in my sexuality and other women not being scared. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Christian, and today we're going to be talking about the problem with Megan Thee Stallion. So, Megan Thee Stallion was born February 15th, 1995. She's from Bexar County, Texas, and she was raised in Houston. So, she's one of the new up-and-coming artists that a lot of women and girls look up to due to her very unapologetic style of rapping and her sometimes vulgar lyrics. Now, Megan becomes under fire a lot of the time because of the way that she presents her body on social media and also her rap lyrics. Now, if anybody knows anything about old school rap, you know about Little Kim. So, Megan Thee Stallion is not the first woman to have very sexual lyrics um there have been a lot of women before her that also participated in these type of lyrics but it seems that this type of rapping has resurfaced and a lot of people have a lot of different things to say about it now i did want to briefly point out that there are a lot of male artists that discuss the same type of sexual lyrics yet are not held accountable for it. In contrast to Megan Thee Stallion and Little Kim, I want to bring up Dietronada. Dietronada starred in the Lifetime series The Rap Game and finished in second place. Dietronada alleges to Jermaine Dupri telling her that she needed to dress more femininely in order to make hits and in order for people to buy her music. If you know Dietronada, she has a stereotypically masculine type of rapping. You messed up when you decided to try me. Know that I'm always on go. I keep that gadget right by me. I can do bad by myself without companions behind me. I guess I forgot who I was and this a chance to remind me. Girl, I run up in your crib like you want some of Bin Laden and snatch a while and maybe up and cut your mama for a while and you thought I was silent until they told me people were trying and no point of hiding. This my game, I ain't resigning. It's so sad that she alleged Jermaine Dupri said that, being that so many people tried to compare her to DeBrat during her season. What's Gucci? Wrist, what's that, Louis? D, I love you, poopy. I'm above you. I won't hug. Now, I hope you're starting to see the contrast between these two artists. On one hand, Megan is shamed for showing off her body, and on the other hand, Dietronada is shamed for not showing enough of her body and not being feminine enough. Now, I definitely do agree that Megan's lyrics are not suitable for young listeners, but the problem that I have is that when men do it, nobody addresses them. Um, I do think that in music, there is pressure to rap about sex, to rap about these things that they think will sell. And I feel that if it's an issue overall, both sexes should be addressed about the situation. Once again, in contrast to Little Kim and Megan Thee Stallion, I want to bring your attention to Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish gained media attention in 2015 when she uploaded the song Ocean Eyes to SoundCloud. Billie Eilish is known for her baggy clothes and her tomboyish aesthetic. According to Seventeen magazine, Billy revealed that the reason she wears baggy clothes is so that people won't be able to judge or sexualize her. She said nobody can have an opinion because they haven't seen what's underneath. I will always stand with Billy, and this breaks my heart that she feels the need to dress like this just to avoid you miserable people who like to body shame for no reason. About two weeks ago, Billie Eilish created a music video titled Not My Responsibility, where she wrestles with internal conflict about showing off her body. So the problem with Megan Thee Stallion is that there's a double standard in the music industry, and we know that 
on that spectrum, we have female artists that are too feminine or not feminine enough. Then we also have artists like Lana Del Rey that will complain about getting backlash for the way that they choose to write their lyrics. So at the end of the day, just do whatever you want and express yourself through your music as freely as you would like. And do not worry about what other people think because it's your career at the end of the day. And you have to be the one going to bed at night knowing that you're doing all of this for you and not for the benefit of others. I would love for this video to be a discussion, so please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!